I'm Chanel from App Themes, and in this tutorial I will show you how to get started with Clipper. Clipper is the perfect theme to offer your customers coupon codes. After you activate this app theme, you will see four new menus on your admin dashboard titled Clipper, Payments, Coupons and Forms. I will refer to these menus throughout the tutorial. Before we configure Clipper and Payment settings, we will need to enable Membership settings. This can be found under the WordPress settings menu. You'll see it right next to Membership. If you tick this box, anyone will be able to sign up to your site. Once you've ticked this box, just simply scroll down and save the changes that you've made. We'll now move on to Clipper settings. So under Clipper, you'll see the settings menu. Just click on that one and you'll see nine tabs at the top of this menu. In this tutorial, I'll just go over the main tabs that you might like to configure changes in. We'll start in the general tab of the Clipper settings. So this is where you can customize the appearance of your site. You can choose a color scheme. We've got five to choose from, so I'll go with the green theme for now. You can choose to have the slider at the top of your website. If you tick this, the slider will be featured on the home page. So that is what this is. And here is where you can enter in any social media accounts. So we'll just save those changes. The next tab we'll take a look at is the coupons tab. Prune coupons, tick this box here if you'd like any expired coupons to be removed from customer's view. Registration, you'll need to tick this box if you want to manually approve each coupon before it goes live on your site. Tick this box if you want to have full control of the site. If you want to start charging for people to list their coupons on your site, you'll need to tick this and we'll just go down further and we'll save those changes. And the third tab that we'll configure some changes in is the security tab. It's in this tab that you can make some changes to make your site a bit more secure. So WP Admin, you can restrict access by specific roles. This works well if multiple people have access to your admin dashboard. You can also enable the recapture feature for this site. So again, we'll just need to save the changes before moving on further. The next settings that we'll have a look at is the payment settings. So just under the payment, you'll see settings. So we've got four tabs at the top and we'll go through each one of these. So you'll need to pick the currency you'd like to use on your site. So I'm going to leave mine as US dollar, although there's multiple to pick from on the drop down menu. If you want to apply tax, you can enter it in here. So for this one, I'll just do 10% to show you. And here is where you'll pick which gateway you want to use to accept payments on your site. So you can choose to use bank transfer or PayPal, although we do have other gateways on offer in the marketplace. So for now, I'm going to go with both of them. So we'll save those changes. We'll head up to the coupons tab. And this is where you can make a base price for each coupon to be listed. There we go. And if you want to put a base price to list a featured coupon, you can do that as well. So we'll go with the base price for featured. We'll set that as $25. And the duration we'll do for 30 days. But you can choose to have months or years as well. So we'll save that. Under the bank transfers tab, you can enter in a message that will be displayed to anyone who uses bank transfer with a successful sale. So I'm just going to leave that empty for now and move on to the PayPal tab. If you choose to use PayPal as one of your payment gateways, you'll need to enter in your PayPal email. And if you have a premier or business account, simply tick this box. You may also choose to enter in PDT information and IPN. You can find more information on how to do this on our documentation page. So for now, I'm just going to save my changes. Now that we've configured all the settings needed to run this site, we'll create a coupon. So you'll see the coupons menu, add new, and this will bring us to the page where we can add a new coupon. So we'll need to give our coupon a title. So I'm going to go Amazon discount. You can add a description and I'll scroll down. So you'll need to enter in a URL of the site for the coupon. You'll need to select the type of coupon that you're offering. So I'm going to offer a coupon code. And I'll need to enter in the coupon code. So I'm offering 10% off, so I'll say 10%. Now that I've done that, I'll scroll down further. 
I'll need to select a listing plan for this coupon. So this will be how many days it's displayed on the site. So I'm gonna go with 10 days for this one. Once you click off that, it will tell you when it will expire. And you can also choose to feature this coupon on the main page. So I'll go yes with that one and we'll just feature that for five days. And we'll just publish that out. So now that I've published that discount code coupon, I'll show you what it will look like. So there you can see my Amazon discount codes right there and any customer that comes on and sees this can simply click here and they can copy this and then they can open it into the site where they'd paste it. So we'll go back to the original page and now I'll show you how you can put this coupon under a store title. So we'll go to coupons and stores and this is where you can add a new store. So we'll go with Amazon. This works perfectly if you've got three coupons for the same store, or multiple coupons for the same store. So we'll enter in a slug, um, I'll just do Amazon lowercase. You can enter in a parent store if it has one. So I'll scroll down and we can enter in a short description. You can also add an image if you choose. We recommend adding a logo as it grabs um, your customer's attention. Go with the Amazon logo, insert into post and you can add your store URL here. This way customers can just follow this URL to your store and use your coupon code. Um, you can have an affiliate URL for the store. I'll leave that for now. Um, my store is active, yes, and store featured, yes. So we'll add new store. So now you can see that my Amazon store exists, but there are no coupons under this store yet. So we'll go back to all coupons and the Amazon discount coupon that I just created will add to that store. So you'll see here the options. I'll add it to my Amazon store and I'll update. Now if I go back to stores, you'll see that Amazon has one coupon under it. Once you place your coupons under store identities, you'll be shown something like this on your site where you've got the store at the top and all the coupons from that store will be underneath. So that brings me to the end of this tutorial on the Clipper app theme. If you still have any questions or queries, feel free to contact us.